Hi, my name is Muhammad Reda bin Kamarul Zaman and my metric number is 11DKA19F1055. Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Muhammad Amirul Hakim bin Kamarul Arifin. My number metric is 11DKA19F1085. My name is Muhammad Ismail bin Pandi. My metric number is 11DKA19F1070. Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Faizul Dimeza and I'm from class DKA5B and my number metric is 11DKA19F1064. First of all, we would like to thank Sir Eric as our Engineering in Society lecturer who has guided us a lot for completing this presentation. So today, in this presentation, we will explain about the professional bodies in Malaysia, that is Inspector of Works. Introduction An Engineering Inspector of Work is a person that registered under Section 10E of the Engineers Registration Act of 1967, revised in 2015. The Registered Inspector of Work shall abide by the Code of Conduct determined by the Board of Directors and act in an honest, responsible, ethical and legal manner. Inspector of Work registration will take place under the three main engineer's disciplines, namely civil, electrical and mechanical. Inspector of Works carry out inspection of building and civil engineering construction works, including all maintenance works, to ensure conformity with contract, drawing, specification, workmanship standard and relevant legislation. Main idea of Inspector of Work Duty and work scope of Inspector of Work Engineering Inspector ensure that the structural, mechanical and electronic technical aspect of the building structure are carried out in accordance with plan, code and required standard. Engineering Inspector can be specifically responsible for implementing laws and regulations related to design, construction and construction procedure. Engineering Inspector conduct inspection, prepare report and make recommendation, prepare cost estimate for specific tasks and evaluate specific properties. Engineering Inspector work in the office and outdoor site during construction and when the structure is complete. Ensure compliance with the construction, assembly and installation specification of component and product in construction and manufacturing. Responsibility of the Inspector of Work As an Inspector of Work, the responsibility are to read blueprint and instruction to understand the quality expectation of product and consumable and then approve or reject raw material based on quality standard and record the supplier performance. Select the output sample and use the appropriate method like measurement size, test function, comparison with specification to check. And then maintain record of test information and various indicator such as the number of defective product per day. Inspector of Work should prepare and submit report to the quality manager. Next, Inspector of Work must supervise the construction of the building to ensure that the quality and the use of material meet the specification. Lastly, inspect the materials used on behalf of the architect and to ensure the quality of the work done. Okay, next, requirement to be an inspector. The project inspector must always use the professional knowledge and skill to related to the construction project to solve the problems and problems in work. For example, they must have proven experience as quality inspector or related rules. Second, a keen eye for detail and result-oriented approach. They must also be an be a responsible and trustworthy trustworthy person, also familiar with quality 
testing machine and system have a comprehensive understanding of quality control standard and test method inspector of work must also have a quality control certification is a powerful advantage have working knowledge of ms office and have a high school diploma for the quality qualification will be a plus as a professional quali quali qualification inspector of work must be registered as a construction worker and green card holder when working on a construction okay next the recognized academic qualification for registration as an inspector of work with BEM include the following first engineering diploma awarded by Malaysia and second engineering engineering diploma awarded by other country for the first engineering diploma awarded by Malaysia firstly minimum diploma in engineering accredited accredited by the board of engineering technology accreditation council itec second minimum diploma in engineering accredited by nation qualification agency mqa or equivalence recognized by bem for second engineering diploma awarded by other countries diploma in engineering accredited by professional body who are signatory of dublin accord da are accepted so for the qualification of inspector of work iw reach the minimal freshman position as a new iw experience you should register as an attaché IOW and must work together under the supervision of a registered IOW. A registered mastermind or engineering expert with minimum needed experience. And then, this should be performed by his superior. He or she can apply to be a registered IOW subject to the ensuing condition. And firstly, a diploma holders a minimum two times experience. And degree holders minimum one times experience. So, in order to gain the enrollment as an IOW, the internet IOW has to attend BM's approval IOW course during his abstention period. And so, for conclusion is, applicants with engineering diplomas and must register as an engineering inspector of work if they want to be an engineering inspector. This is, a, this is in accordance with the provision of section 7 to AB, a project inspector registered with the committee may engage in work that requires him to assist professional interest in supervising the project under section 8. The registered IOW shall abide by the code of conduct determined by the board of directors and acts in harness, responsible, ethical, and legal manner. Engineering inspectors ensure that the structural, mechanical, and electronic technical aspect of the building structure are carried out in accordance with plans, codes, and record standards. Representing buildings, association, and other financial institution, a situation to ensure that buildings are constructed in accordance with their requirements and mortgage agreements. So that's it.